Today is Deborah, independent demonstrator with Stampin' Up. The first thing we're going to do is stamp the handmade heartfelt image from Better Than Email stamp set using Whisper White Craft Ink onto the card base. This is four and a fourth by eleven inches, scored at five and a half, so that it's a top folding card. So we're going to stamp our images onto crumb cake using soft suede ink. When you stamp your images, keep enough space between them so that you can use the dies to cut them out with. We have the large snowman and the small snowman. Now let's go ahead and do some arms. We need two of the larger arms as well as two of the smaller arms. Now we're going to go ahead and stamp two ice cream cones. So now using basic black archival ink, we will stamp the bow tie image as well as the top hat image. Once all of our images are stamped, we can go ahead and die cut our images using the magnetic platform. You can use the multi-purpose platform with the washi tape. You'll notice that the um, die pieces kind of jump to certain areas. The magnetic platform has multiple magnet in it so the dies will jump to where they get most attraction. So sometimes, uh, especially with the smaller dies, if you have multiple images on one piece of paper, sometimes it's just easier and less frustrating to go ahead and use some washi tape to secure them before you run them in through your uh, big shot or whatever system you're using. So now we've got those all cut out and we're going to pop those images out so that we can run the pieces through again getting some more images cut out. You can see the um, dies kind of moving around where they prefer to go. Um, if you only have like one image on a sheet then you can just adjust your paper to make the dies and magnets happy but like I said sometimes with the multiple images on one sheet it's just so much easier to go ahead and use that washi tape to secure it. And so with the use of the Big Shot and those dies, we get our images cut out nicely and quickly. And uh, it's always good to put your dies away quickly so that you don't lose any. I use magnetic sheets to help me keep them in place. Now it's time to add some dimension using the softly falling textured impression embossing folder. I've got a four by five and a fourth piece of Marina Mist cardstock in there. I've got the Sizzix labeled side facing up. Then using my multi-purpose platform on tab one with a cutting pad, then the embossing folder and paper, and then another cutting pad. I'm gonna run that through the big shot to get some beautiful dimension. So with some Pacific Point ink and a wedge from a stamping sponge, we're gonna add some color to that embossed piece of cardstock. I have the heavier embossed part up at the top of the card and I'm just swiping and um, kind of rubbing some ink onto the raised portion. If any of the color gets kind of onto the cardstock that's not pushed up, that's okay with me because that gives it more of a stormy or sky type of look and that's what I want. I want a rainstorm type look for this card. When you're satisfied with the look, let's just go ahead and Sponge the edges of that Marina Mist cardstock with the Pacific Point ink using that same sponge wedge. So to a 4 inch wide by 1 and 3 fourth inch high piece of soft suede cardstock, I'm going to add a little bit of curvature <laughs> to the top of the paper just so it's not so flat. I want this to kind of mimic some um, muddy land. So I'm also going to take the edge of my scissors and just distress that top portion so it gets um, some nice dimension and, and make sure I like the way that the snowmen look on that. Next we're going to take the time to chill sentiment and stamp that uh, in the middle from side to side down near the bottom with basic black ink and then we'll sponge the edges of that with the soft suede ink. Alright so let's add some color to our mudmen. I'm using pumpkin pie to add a little bit of orangey color to their carrot noses. And then I'm going to use real red marker to color in that band across the top hat. Then let's use some crumb cake marker to color in the ice cream cones. You'll occasionally hear me refer to them as snowmen. That's just habit because these guys are really mud men. Now I wanted strawberry ice cream or snowball, whatever you prefer to call it. So I'm using Melon Mambo uh, Stampin' Right marker. And then for the other one, I wanted it to be kind of a minty color. 
So I'm using Bermuda Bay uh, marker for that. We're going to add some buttons to our snowman. So I'm using the three button stamps and it's photopolymer so I can see right where I'm adding ink. So I'm just going to ink up the top two with real red ink and stamp that onto his little chest. And then I want to add some of the little coal-like dots to the smaller snowman using basic black. So I'm going to, since it's photopolymer, I can see right where I need to ink that. So I will ink up just the top two dots of that and stamp that onto his abdomen. So I've got our card base now. I'm going to add some snail to the back of the Marina Mist piece of cardstock that's going to go on the front of the card. Then I'm going to go ahead, um, my card base has been folded and burnished, but I'm going to open it. makes it a little easier to get it um, centered. I'm making sure that my heavier rain part is up at the top of the card. Next, we'll take the time to chill piece of soft suede and put some dimensionals on that. I like to make sure I have dimensionals throughout my piece so that I don't have any squishage or anything like that as it goes through the mail. Um, so you'll see that I probably use more than the average person, but it just gives me peace of mind. I don't have to worry about one side, you know, having any dips or anything in my cardstock. Dimensionals are not that expensive, so I don't worry about any um, unevenness this way. So let's do the inside panel. This is four by five and a fourth piece of Whisper White. And I forgot to do this earlier when I was doing all of my other stamping. This mud man is done in soft suede and his little coal buttons in basic black. And then we're going to do his arms in soft suede as well. I prefer doing all of my stamping at once while my images are dirty and I have my inks out. And But I forgot, so we got it done now. I'm going to add a little bit of pumpkin pie uh, marker to his nose. So this is going to be a birthday card, so we're going to stamp Happy Birthday down near the little snowman with Pacific Point ink. This sentiment stamp is from a previous paper pumpkin kit. I really enjoy getting the paper pumpkin kits because I get stamps, embellishments, ink spots, and I usually have adhesive left over as well that I can use on other projects. It's a really great thing to become a member of and to subscribe to. You can get more information on my blog. Now I want to go ahead and sponge the edges of this inside panel with Pacific Point just to give it a nice look and kind of coordinate with the front of the card a little bit more. Okay, so let's add some snail to the back of the inside panel and attach it to the inside of the card. Centered. And now we can go ahead and add our mud men to the front of the card. I'm going to pretty much decide how I want my little arms. Do I want them behind my little snowman or coming out from the front? And I ended up deciding to have them coming out from the front. So I'm just going to add a little snail adhesive to the back side of the tip of the arm that will attach to my snowman. So we're going to do the same thing to the second arm. Just put a little snail on the back of his little stick to stick to his little tummy there. And now the same thing for the ice cream cone. I'm going to put some snail on the back side of that and attach that to his hand. You can make some adjustments to it, so it's all right. It, it, it's not exactly where you wanted it to be. I was trying to decide if I wanted to do a little bow on it to make it a little girl, but I decided just to keep it as a plain mudman. So I have some snail at the very bottom of my snowman because the Time to chill pieces popped up on dimensionals, and then I'll put dimensionals on the top part of the mud men so that he is kind of right in line with the mud and gives it a little dimensional. So I'm cutting some of the dimensional small for his little hand and the ice cream cone, and then I'll set him aside and do the larger snowman. So I've got to decide how I want his arms, and I decided to go ahead and put the snail on the back side and stick it to the front of his little chest there. And then we'll go ahead and get his little bow tie with some snail. You could do some dimensionals with it if you wanted to, but I just kept it flat and easy and attach that right um, underneath his little chin and put some snail on the bottom side of his top hat and attach that 
to his cutesy little head there. And then the ice cream cone will go in his hand as well. And he's ready to attach to the card. So I'm going to put some snails at the bottom of him and some dimensionals. Um, don't be surprised if you know you think I'm using too much. That's okay. You can use the amount that you think you need. Taking some small pieces of dimensional for his little hand and his ice cream cone. And uh, then I'll peel the backing off of all of those pieces and attach him on the left side of my card. And you'll be able to see how well he kind of stands out against that uh, marina mist sky and the soft suede muddy ground in that little rainstorm. Now that my card is complete, I realized I forgot to stamp the envelope. So I'm going to take that large snowman and stamp him in the bottom left corner, about two-thirds of them with the soft suede, add his little arms, and then add um, a couple of the buttons with the soft suede ink as well. And then I'll stamp just for you from Teeny Tiny Wishes using soft suede ink down by the Mudman. So here's a look at our completed Mississippi Mudman birthday card and coordinating envelope. Thank you so much for joining me today. And I look forward to sharing more projects with you in the future. Have a great day.